church, you be the steeple. You be the king, I be the people. Well, I was feeling such a mess, I thought you'd leave me behind. Well, I was feeling such a wreck, I thought you'd treat me unkind. You helped me change my mind. I'll be the sun, you be the shining. Clock, I'll be the timing. Well, I was feeling such a mess, I thought you'd leave me behind. Well, I was feeling so upset, I thought the sun ever shined. And I found forever. Hey, love, we've been best friends forever, darling. Hi kids, if you're having trouble balancing your checkbook, this video can't help you. But if you're having trouble balancing your audio tracks, then you've come to the right place. You just listen to That's What's Up, performed by the talented vocalist Emily Sue. Remember the name, Emily Sue. So I was given these tracks by a friend of mine and his dilemma was getting the acoustic guitar and the ukulele to sit well together in the mix. It was very well recorded and it's very simple. It's just vocals, ukulele, and guitar. So the reason why the tracks weren't sitting well is because they were stacked on top of each other. So we have to keep them separated. So the first thing that I'm gonna do is I'm going to EQ in mono. Why? Because if you're able to hear separation of the elements while the mix is collapsed in mono, then when you put it back in stereo, it's going to sound even better. And what I did was I monitored in mono with my Sonarworks Reference 3. A lot of audio interfaces have a mono button, which will allow you to monitor in mono. And if you don't have that, then any stereo image plugin will work. I'll use the one that comes stocked with Pro Tools. What we wanna do is you just wanna take the width and we're gonna bring it all the way down to zero. Once you do that, then you'll be monitoring in mono. I'll take that out. We'll just save that, put that down there. Next. When I EQ, of course you want to do it in context of the mix, but these are very subtle changes. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to solo acoustic guitar and the ukulele. I originally used the Pro Q, but for the demonstration, I'm just going to use the stock EQ plugins that come with Pro Tools. Okay, so I'm monitoring in mono. Here's my acoustic guitar. And here is my ukulele. Let me bypass this and we'll just listen to it. So it's a very subtle difference, but let me show you what I did. First, I went over to my acoustic guitar and I found where the body of the acoustic was and I bumped that up a little over 3 dB. What I'm going to do now is what's called complementary carving. And this little 3 dB boost that I put, I copied it and pasted it to the ukulele 
So what I did was instead of boosting 3 dB, I attenuated 3 dB from the ukulele. So the ukulele in that frequency that I boosted is not going to interfere with the acoustic guitar. And I did the same thing with the ukulele. I found a frequency that best fit the ukulele, in my opinion. And I copied that over. It's almost a 2 dB boost. I'm going to copy and paste where my frequency is. And instead of boosting, I'm going to cut. All right, so let's, let's do that again. And remember, we're still in mono. So we're going to play it through a little bit, and then I'm going to play it in stereo. So upset I thought the sun never shined And I found forever hey, yeah. Well, thank you. I hope that was helpful. If you want to hear more from Emily Sue, the link to her Facebook page is in the description below. Show her some love and let her know Trey sent you. For those who mention my name will help me get a 10% discount to the Disneyland that they're building in Bosnia. Well, I'm going to leave you now. If you have any questions, hit me up in the comment section or send me a message. But until then, I'll see you next week. Love it is our shelter. Love it is our cause. Love goes on forever. Yeah, love will lead us all. Oh, love it is our